Hi, I'm Lily, and when I was 13, my parents moved to the seaside and opened a seafood restaurant. We lived in an apartment right above the restaurant, and I got to swim in the ocean every day, help my dad catch fish on our sailboat, and eat the most delicious seafood. Life was perfect, at least it would have been if it wasn't for Enzo. Who's Enzo, you ask? He's a nightmare, a monster, a terrible, diabolical fiend. Oh man, I need a moment to calm down. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. Enzo was my age. His family owned the restaurant next door, and they were the absolute worst. They were always trying to steal our customers. One time, Enzo and his dad put a sign on their restaurant that claimed that their food was better than ours. Of course, I wasn't gonna let that go. So I made a ton of flyers saying that our restaurant was the best and posted them on dozens of mailboxes, street signs, and lampposts. Two minutes later, I caught Enzo pasting his flyers on top of mine. What are you doing, you jerk? What does it oh. look like, pea brain? I'm saving the people of this town from eating your lame food. Take it down or else. Enzo <laughs> laughed in my face. I got so mad I ripped off his flyer, he ripped mine, I pushed him, and he shoved me back. Then I slipped and scraped my knee on the ground. Sorry, I didn't mean to push you so hard. Are you okay? I grabbed a cold fish out of my dad's cart and hurled it at Enzo's dumb face. Enzo ducked and the fish hit Enzo's dad in the head, who lost his balance, fell down, and broke his arm. For a week, Enzo's restaurant was closed because his dad was their only chef. At first, I felt really bad, but the next day at school, I opened my locker and a bucket of sardines fell on my head. The stench was so bad, I had to sit outside during class and all the kids started calling me fish face. And if that wasn't enough, during our dinner rush, I caught Enzo creeping around behind our restaurant. I chased him off, but a few minutes later, our power went out. All of our customers left and went to Enzo's restaurant, and we couldn't get the lights back on for a week. Enzo was evil, and he was obsessed with destroying me and my parents. Every time we saw each other, we'd give each other death glares. But then one day, the strangest thing happened. My parents invited Enzo and his parents over for dinner, and then they made a huge announcement. We've talked it over, and we've decided to, to go, go into, into business, business together. together. I couldn't believe we were joining hands with the enemy. Enzo and I begged and pleaded for our parents to change their minds, but they didn't budge. After the restaurants merged, Enzo worked at the restaurants on the weekends just like me, and I tried avoiding him as much as I could. But things at school were worse. The kids loved making fun of me thanks to Enzo and his stupid prank. So I kept to myself and focused on my studies. But then one day, a new girl named Yasmin sat next to me in history class. She was beautiful and wore the most fashionable clothes and everyone wanted to be her friend. The teacher partnered us up for a huge assignment that was almost half our grade and we met at the library to work on it. Oh, I can't do this anymore. My brain is on fire. My eyes are about to go numb. We've been working on the assignment for less than 10 minutes. I'm not a machine. Yasmin had a meltdown and ran off. She didn't come back for hours. I finished the assignment on my own. Just as I was about to leave, Yasmin came back with a brand new outfit on, looking like she'd stepped off a runway. Where have you been? We were supposed to work on this together. Sorry, girl, I had to get ready for my date. Are we almost done? What do you mean, we? You didn't do anything. Then these mean girls walked up to us. Gosh, Yasmin, you're so cool and pretty. Why are you talking to that fish face? Drop the geek and come hang out with us. I thought Yasmin would join them immediately, but she didn't even laugh at their jokes. Mm, hard pass. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Your face is hideous. Your dress is so last year. And that cheap perfume you're wearing smells like rose-scented turds. The girls were speechless. I was shocked. It felt so good to have someone stick up for me. So, about that assignment, you gonna add my name to that or what? After that, Yasmin and I started hanging out all the time. I helped Yasmin with all her homework and helped her pass her tests. No, it wasn't cheating. I just liberated the answers and shared them. That's what besties do. Hanging out with Yasmin was the best. I got to sit at the cool kids' table at lunch, even if it meant carrying Yasmin's books around. She had delicate arms. I couldn't let her strain herself. One day during cheerleading practice, I was getting Yasmin a bottle of water when a football came flying toward my head. Then Kurt, the most beautiful boy in the world, came out of nowhere and caught it. Kurt winked at me with his dreamy green eyes, and my brain turned to mush. Hey, fish face, is that for me? I, uh, uh, I, uh... He grabbed the water bottle out of my hand, took a sip, and handed it back to me. You're sweet. His finger touched mine, and I fell in love. 
I felt like I was walking on a cloud, but I must have wandered onto the football field because all of a sudden someone crashed into me. Of course, it was Enzo. What's the matter with you? This isn't a sidewalk. Stop daydreaming and watch where you're going. You watch where I'm going. Trust you to ruin everything. Are you having PMS? You're having PMS, jerk! Later that day, I saw Kurt in the hallway surrounded by a dozen beautiful rich girls. My heart sank. He was totally out of my league. That night, I looked up into the stars and made a wish to be pretty and rich just so that I could have a chance with Kurt. The next morning, my life turned upside down. This huge celebrity had eaten at our restaurant and posted an amazing review online. That night, people were lined up outside our doors. Within two weeks, our restaurant became one of the most popular in the city. And we we made a ton of money. Soon enough, my parents bought a new house and gave me a credit card. You've worked so hard, honey. Go buy yourself something nice. Whatever you want, you deserve it. I told Yasmin all about my new credit card, and she suggested we go on a shopping spree. I bought us a ton of matching outfits, expensive shoes, and jewelry. Bestie, I'd love a day at the spa. How about we go tomorrow? Your treat? No problem. I didn't mind picking up the bill at all. Yasmin was a great friend. She even invited me to a cool party. She did my makeup and my hair, and I looked like a goddess. When I walked into the party, all the boys noticed me, even Kurt. But when he waved at me, I got really nervous. What's wrong? You look like someone pooped on your shoes. I told Yasmin all about my crush on Kurt. Don't be shy, girl. Go get him. I gathered up the confidence to ask Kurt to dance, but just as I was approaching him, Enzo stepped in my way. Hey, Lily, you look great. Get out of my face, Enzo. No, really, I'm being honest. You look amazing. Listen, I've been meaning to talk to you. I want to apologize for always being a jerk to you. I guess all the pressure from working at the restaurant and school was getting to me. I was hoping we could have a fresh start. Just then, Kurt walked up to me. Hey, beautiful, you want to dance? Excuse me, we were in the middle of a conversation. Actually, we were at the end of it, and I'd love to dance with you. I ditched Enzo to dance with Kurt. After the song was over, I asked Kurt out, and he said yes! On our first date, we went to a really nice restaurant, but when the bill came, Kurt asked if I could pay. Sorry, babe. I forgot my wallet and my other pants. Ugh, so embarrassing. But no big deal. I'll handle it. I paid the bill, then Kurt pulled me close and kissed me. That kiss was so magical. I couldn't stop smiling for days. Soon, we were a couple. Kurt loved it when I bought him nice gifts and took him and his friends to concerts. But after a while, things didn't feel right, so I talked to Yasmin about it. Oh, don't be so shallow. Kurt's the boy of your dreams. Girls buy their boyfriends gifts all the time. By the way, can I borrow $500? I've had my eye on this Gucci purse. Yasmin and I went shopping, and I felt so much better. For a while, my life felt like a fairy tale, with the perfect boyfriend and the best friend in the world, though Enzo was still a troll. Ever since the party, he's been acting so strange. Whenever he saw me and Kurt, he'd shake his head and walk the other way like he was disgusted. He even had a problem with Yasmin. Like this one time he saw her leaving my house with a bunch of shopping bags from our latest shopping spree, and he lost his mind. Are you an idiot? Kurt and Yasmin are using you. You're wrong. You don't even know them. You're Yasmin's personal ATM. Yasmin's parents cut her allowance. She's accustomed to a certain lifestyle. I can't stand by and watch her suffer. Kurt flirts with every girl on Earth. No, he's just a nice, friendly guy. He likes giving hugs. Jeez, you really are a moron. I got so mad I slammed the door in Enzo's face. I refused to let him drag me down. So I decided to avoid him forever. But my plan failed because later that night, Enzo and I had a meeting with our parents. We're opening up three new locations. We'll need you two to manage the restaurant while we're away. No problem, whatever you guys need. This is awesome. Enzo and her parents were so excited, but all I could think about was how much I'd miss hanging out with Kurt and Yasmin. Sorry, that won't work for me. I have plans. Well, you'll need to change them. I tried arguing with my parents, but they insisted that I help out or they'd take away my credit card. That would be a nightmare. So I agreed to their terms. I got so busy with school and work that I hardly saw Yasmin and Kurt, and I really missed them. So one day, as I was taking a cash deposit to the bank, I decided to stop at Yasmin's house to say hello. But when I got there, I saw Yasmin and Kurt kissing on the porch. I felt someone had stabbed me in the heart. Suddenly, I lost my balance and fell back into a trash can, which caught Yasmin and Kurt's attention. What's going on? I saw you kissing. Lily, it's not what you think. Yeah, we were just practicing. Practicing for what? 
that play, uh, Romeo and Suzette. You mean Romeo and Juliet? Right, that one. When did you guys join the drama club? <laughs> oh, silly, we told you weeks ago. You must have forgotten. You know my heart belongs to you. Kurt hugged me and I started crying like a baby. I do, it's just I'm tired of working all the time and Enzo is the absolute worst. He's been saying all these mean things. Forget about Enzo, you've got us. Yasmin and Kurt spent the rest of the afternoon cheering me up. They even walked me to the bank. From then on, Kurt and Yasmin joined me at the restaurant to protect me from evil Enzo's mind games. It was really nice to have their support. But one time, Kurt and Yasmin were hanging out with me in the back office as I was doing some accounting, when Enzo burst in like a crazy maniac and pulled me to the side. You can't have them in the office. It's for employees only. All our cash is in the safe there. I told you, they can't be trusted. Neither can you. I pushed Enzo aside and walked back into the office. A few weeks later, Kurt and Yasmin stopped hanging out with me. They said it was because they couldn't stand Enzo. Then, the day I was supposed to make the deposit, I opened the safe and the money was gone. I panicked. I searched everywhere for it, but I couldn't find it. I even asked Kurt and Yasmin about it. Are you accusing us of stealing? I thought we were friends. After that, Kurt broke up with me and Yasmin stopped taking my calls. My parents came home the next week and they were furious. They told me that the accountant discovered that the money from the deposits had been short for weeks. I looked at the calendar, and I noticed that it all began when I started hanging out with Kurt and Yasmin in the office. I realized that I'd opened the safe in front of them on numerous occasions. We checked the surveillance cameras, but they had mysteriously stopped working when the robberies began. The last image we saw was of two kids in masks sneaking into the office spray painting the cameras. One of the robbers was wearing a fancy bracelet and a pair of really expensive sneakers. Sneakers, the same bracelet and sneakers that I bought Yasmin months ago. My blood boiled. I marched straight to Yasmin's house, where I found her and Kurt hanging out by the pool with a bunch of their popular friends. Hey, Lily, what's up, girl? How could you do this to me? I didn't do anything. You and Kurt stole from my parents' restaurant. I showed her the footage of the robbers. Ooh, that girl's got style. She's rocking those shoes and that bracelet. I know it was you. Admit it. I called the police. Hello? I'd like to report a robbery. My friends Yasmin and Kurt. Before I could finish my sentence, Kurt ran away and Yasmin snatched my phone. Yasmin and I fought for the phone like a pair of wildcats. I slipped on a towel, hit my head, and fell into the pool. The next thing I knew, I was in the hospital. Enzo was sitting by my side, holding my hand. Please, Lily, you have to wake up. I miss you. I never got to tell you that. He paused, then looked away. I should have let Enzo know that I was awake, but I was so curious to hear what he had to say, so I pretended to be asleep. I love you. I was an idiot before. I should have just told you earlier. If I had, then maybe none of this would have happened. Enzo started to cry. I squeezed his hand. It's not your fault. I was the idiot. Then Enzo kissed me, and it was so sweet. As for Yasmin and Kurt, they fled the party after my accident, but they didn't get very far. The police arrested them at a bus stop and hauled them off to jail. Our family's restaurant eventually recovered from the robbery and got 10 times more popular. Enzo and I started dating, and after college, we started to run the business, got married, and lived happily ever after. So yeah, I was wrong about Enzo. He wasn't an evil monster after all. Wait, what now? It's a long story.